What is going on guys, 2.0 here, and in today's video we finally get to check out the third and final armor set from the Sublime Engrams in Destiny over here on my Warlock. So I've waited so long to be able to make this video, and it was all riding on these leg armors. It took me so long to get these legs, every time I got Sublime leg armor I transferred it over to my Warlock, and it kept giving me the original Sublime gear, or we even had a few exotics drop out of the Sublime Engrams as well. But finally this morning I got the Barkhan Dune leg armors and I now have the full set of Barkhan Dune 1 gear over here on my Warlock. So in this video we're going to be checking out all of it and we will start down here with the class item, the Barkhan Dune Bond. Now I've infused this up to 335 because really I do like the look of it. Mine came with Intellect and Strength and then it increases the upgrade rate for scout rifles as well as increased vanguard reputation gains. If I go ahead and inspect this and show you guys, it doesn't really look like any other warlock bond we've ever had in Destiny, at least that comes to mind right now. It looks really cool in my opinion, definitely going to be using this one. I do still really like the original warlock bond from the Sublime Engrams, the Bond of Guardians. If I go ahead and inspect this here, you can see it looks absolutely insane and mine actually came with a near perfect build of intellect and discipline and it's actually one intellect off of a tier 12 build so I am really happy with the original sublime class item that I got on the warlock uh, but the bark on June one here does look really really interesting and a lot more different than any other warlock bond I've ever seen before so I'm really happy with that then the leg armors the ones that took me so long to get Finally we got them this morning, so happy about that. I got these with an intellect and strength build, increased amount of fusion rifle ammo and I believe it's rocket launcher as well, yeah rocket launcher ammo and then we also have arc double down, increased agility for 5 seconds after arc double kills. Not the best roll on these leg armors but after all the farming that I've done for these sublime engrams I'm so happy that I finally got them. Then the Barkhan Dune chest armor. I'm not really too keen on the look of this chest armor to be completely honest. It came with discipline and strength, increased auto rifle ammo, and then what else is it? It's sidearm, and then we have the void based subclass perks as well. So not too bad of a roll on that, but as for the way the armor actually looks, really not too keen on it to be completely honest. Let me know down below in the comments if you like the look of it, because something about it, I literally don't know what it is, but something about it I really am not too keen on. Next up, we'll take a look at the gauntlets though. I do really like the look of these. Intellect and discipline on these and then increased melee attack speed as well as increased reload speed of snipers. These are actually very close to a tier 12 build as well and I really like the upgrades that I've got on them. That is why I've infused them up to 335. You can see I've got another set here. These came with increased melee attack speed again but this time increased reload speed of auto rifles and it did have a discipline and strength build. Not too sure if I'm going to keep these yet because the ones that I have equipped at 335 are much better in my opinion on the upgrades as well as it does have that intellect and discipline build but I'll go ahead and keep these for now just in case we want to run some strength with this gear set and then finally my favorite piece of the armor and probably my favorite piece of the entire sublime set across all characters is the bark on dune helmet similar to the class item this is like nothing we've ever seen before in warlock helmets it looks so cool really like the look of it Definitely my favorite piece of this puzzle. So I am definitely going to be running this. Every time I get a Sublime Helmet, I transfer it over here to my Warlock. I've had a bunch of them, but this is the only one I've kept so far. But every time I get one, I transfer it as I'm trying to get the perfect roll. This is the closest one I've had to a perfect roll. It's got Discipline and Strength. Would prefer Intellect, but I suppose I need some Strength over here on my Warlock. And then it's also got Game Bonus Super Energy from Melee Kills on Minions of the Darkness. And I think it's Heavy Lifting. Yeah, Heavy Lifting for Bonus Super Energy from Heavy Weapon Kills. And then it's the only Sublime Helmet for the Bark on Dune set that I've had so far with the Infusion perk. Replenish health each time you pick up Orbs of Light. Absolutely love this perk on helmets. I pretty much don't use helmets unless it has this or the better already perk uh, where your shields replenish when you pick up orbs. So definitely looking out for a perfect roll on this helmet still. This is the closest one I've had to it so far and so that is why I have infused it up to 335. I got it very recently so I really haven't leveled it up too much uh, along with most of this gear as well. So need to level this gear up uh, and I'm definitely still going to be looking out for that perfect roll on this Bark on Dune helmet. But that is the full set of Sublime gear over here for the Warlock. 
as with the two other videos, we're going to be checking out a bunch of different shaders. So I've got both of the Iron Banner shaders here. So we'll check out Gold Spiral first. Now I actually do quite like the look of the chest piece with this shader equipped. I don't know what it is, but when it's no shader, it doesn't really look too great. And then with Gold Spiral, I actually quite like the look of it. But next up, we'll take a look at Million Million, just in case you'd rather run this shader in the Iron Banner. I don't really like the look of it as much as Gold Spiral with this set of gear, but I thought we'd take a look at it just to see and then next up feud unfading i had this shader equipped over on my warlock not too long ago and it was still in the shaders that i had over here so i thought i'd try it out with this and it looks absolutely awesome i love the look of the helmet with this shader on i think that looks really cool next up crocos i'm not entirely sure if i'm saying that right but this is a shader from srl and again i really like the look of it i absolutely love this shader with the iron banner chest piece equipped again i don't know what it is about it but it really does look nice i think it's down here i just really like the color scheme down here i think it looks really cool but we'll go ahead and throw the bark on june chest piece on again and then it will go back down to our shaders and we'll check out the old guard just to black it out see what it looks like and that looks pretty cool we'll check out chatter white pretty much the polar opposite we'll go all white on that and again that looks really nice as well ascendant plane lots of people like me checking out this shader on armor so i thought i'd throw that one in there as well looks pretty cool especially on the helmet and the gauntlets i actually didn't notice that how cool those gauntlets look uh, when I was checking out all these shaders before. But that is what Ascendant Plane looks like with the Bark on June gear. Next up, Glow Who. I always check out this shader when looking at armor sets. And that looks really nice as well. Again, that's a shader that makes the chest piece actually look quite nice to me. And then finally, we'll take a look at the Moments of Triumph shader. I tried both the Moments of Triumph shaders and the second one really did not look good at all. So I thought we would only check out this one here. And that looks alright as well, not really anything too special, but it does look quite cool. But we will go ahead and throw on the default shader again, because that is going to bring us to the end of this video guys. I'm so happy that I've finally been able to make all three of the new Sublime Gear Set videos. I'm sure we'll end up getting a few more with the Rise of Iron, so I'll have to do this all over again. Hopefully my luck improves in the Rise of Iron though, and it doesn't take this long, because I planned on getting these videos out a hell of a lot sooner, but luck was just not on my side, and it took so long for me to be able to acquire the full set of gear. Probably take even longer to get the gear sets in the Rise of Iron, because there'll be more of them, so less of a chance to get the brand new ones but either way hopefully my luck improves a lot in the rise of iron and we end up being able to make these videos a hell of a lot sooner but that is going to bring us to the end of the video guys if you did enjoy it please leave a like so it really does help the channel out really appreciate the support as it has taken so long to farm for the sublime engrams i've actually made a video on how i farm for sublime engrams so if you would like to check that out i will leave a link in the description below subscribe if you're new around here as do upload daily destiny videos and as always thanks for watching and i will see you guys on the next one